Okay. Yeah. So the Weasel Fang will start things up here. We are at the Fend the North 10th anniversary. Tekken Pools dead underway. Let's, let's get it. Elisa is a nightmare in this game. You know, so is Fang. Both characters very, very good. But uh, Elisa, we don't really see her that much uh, winning at the moment. But she's a top tier character. No doubt about it. Yeah, I know. Definitely. With those chainsaws, she definitely is able to display a lot of damage. But she's on the back end right now because yep. Hayato is doing damage. Yeah, back to the wall, plus frames. This man is in charge, and I can't say that our team didn't get the same treatment last night, but we did. No. <laughs> nah, that's how you know he's going to be a strong player. All right, he's a good player. All right, so Hayato with the 1-1-2 there. Gets some advantage, but it was breaking up by Piplup, who's now trying to take advantage of the spacing game. Nice punish by Hayato. Yeah. Well, now we're starting to see more of a neutral take place in the back and forth. And I'm liking all oh, the whip grab right there. Yep. You definitely see Hayato looking for stuff. Yeah, he's going into a lot of stance changes. Yep. He's with punishing very well. And uh, so far, I like what I'm seeing. All right. Oh. oh yeah. You see the reversal right there. All right. He right back here for Piplup. Yep. Um, yeah, just right through. Tried to throw out a button right there, but got counter hit. Side step two. Mm -hmm. Bang super on the, on the move here. Yeah. But once again, I like what Fang's doing. Hayato, he's setting up the 1-1-2 just on the punish. A little bit of extra damage here comes out. And we are in the G2 loses semis if you're just tuning into the stream. Yeah, and that was such a strong string. Caught, carried them straight to the wall. Yep. And now grabbed. Not going to leave them right there. Great rollout. And now just a side switch from Piplup. This is going to be Piplup's opportunity, but a quick counter hit with the snap mare right into the shoulder. We'll, uh, we'll take that next one around. On Fang, so that first set, quick and easy, but it goes over to the Hayato. Yeah, and this is first to two, so just one more from Hayato, and they win. Yeah, credit to Piplup. I like the Jigglypuff earrings. Not bad there. Oh, no, I just, <laughs> I just peeped that right now. Not bad, not bad. Really nice earrings. <laughs> That's right. Let's get that zoom in. I love it. <laughs> Quality earrings right there. Okay, so next match here, going to stick with the Elisa. Yeah. Yeah, what are you seeing in this match? I know it was a quick one, but... Anything in particular that you think Piplup could do better to, to come out yeah, on top Piplup of Piplup needs to find their opening. That's a big thing right sure. there. Sure. Because they're not finding the correct hits for the strings that they need. Because Lisa, really quick strings. Okay, we we're seeing that right there. And able to convert a lot of damage, as we mentioned before. Sure. So if they're able to get a good launcher, they will be able to get something going. But Hayato got the launcher, unfortunately dropping the string right there. But the damage is still coming on. Yep. And, you know, for me, it's Elisa. you got to use more of the uh, chainsaws. It, all of her plus frames are in chainsaw stance. She can pull them out almost whenever she wants. She's not really getting that much uh, 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 much usage out of them. And so far, that's really helped Hayato get his offense going. True. Oh, big step right yeah. there. Piplup, this is opportunity. Does get the side, so he doesn't get the full juggle. And there oh, it is. Yes. Such a deceptive heat smash. Yeah. Because she backs away, comes forward, and then smashes you. Yeah. It looks like a low almost, but it hits mid really quick. Yeah, no, if you're not prepared, you definitely will get messed up. Oh. That low that she did is what is why it's kind of tricky. Yeah. She has a diving low as well. So it worked really well there, but a grab from Hayato will stop the pressure. And again, yeah. I believe that's one plus two. Yeah. Oh! Oh, and yeah, Hayato oh. is not having it. Just waking up right there. Oh, that is no respect. Yeah. Ha eats the heat guard, eats the uh, heat activation, and still hits the button. If I was Elisa, I would have been mashing my heat smash yeah. right there. Oh, Easier head, said than done. Head, yeah, head loss right there. But I like the ducks under. One plus two. Yep. Got to break that, but the hold will lead to damage for Piplup. All right, and we reset right back. All right, Pip heat activator. Yeah. Oh, chainsaw's right there. Damage is coming out. Oh, not able to finish it off. Good break. Oh, that's this, this, this. Honestly, it won't be enough. But that one plus two, he's really only done that grab. Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Piplup decided to back off instead of keeping the pressure up, and that's what cost him right there. Yeah. I, but so far, Piplup has made the adjustments. The offense yeah. has now come out here from Elisa, but they have had a hard time securing the rounds. Yeah. Those final rounds have gone to Hayato, even the ones where Piplup was in the lead. Yeah, and that's what makes it unfortunate. You got to keep up the pressure if you're playing Lisa. And that's the name of this game. All right, he activator once again. But a parry will allow not to come out. He smashed, but he gets yeah. stuffed. This could be it. This yeah. could be it. Could be. Oh, this is it. 
Oh, no, drop. Ooh. Wall carry right there. Good break. Oh, no. I know. <clears throat> Pimple kind of stunned right there, but the game goes to Hayato. Yeah, that'll be a 2-0. As Hayato is going to take it, and just a, just a little bit, again, you know, son, one of the big things that we see a lot is that players have the right stuff to win the round, but they get either going late. A lot of the times we see it with players just get going late. Yeah. And once someone like Hayato is already in the swing of getting a set, plays with a little bit of comfort, you have a set under your belt, you can let a lot of stuff out here. Yeah. Both players, I guess, kind of shocked. <laughs> on how that ended. Well, I've never even seen the move that uh, yeah. uh, that uh, Elisa just threw, and yeah. my main training partner uses Elisa, so That's I don't know crazy. what just came out right there, yeah. but it shocked everyone. Yeah, no, definitely. But so far, you know, we were commentating some virtual fight this morning. Yeah. Now we're over here on Tekken 8, plus we're fighting games here on Long Island. It's been a fantastic day for uh, to be back here at the 10th anniversary of Defend the North. Yeah, no, definitely. We're both Long Island natives. That's just right. Came right here, like, <laughs> five-minute drive. We'll and, take it. We'll take it. Yeah. We'll take it. Always the one that travels around the country. Yeah. But we'll, we'll, we'll take the short drive this time. So coming up next, we just saw that 2-0 uh, from Hayate. And just looking at some of the players that uh, Hayate actually beat, this will be the second time Hayate had gone against Piplup earlier oh, wow. in the bracket. So that was actually the second defeat of Piplup. So Hayate, Hayate nobody was getting into yeah. going into that one. Yeah, double eliminating Piplup. What a crazy send-off right there. Yeah, and you know.